We know that Donald Trump's comments have been used online for recruitment of terrorists. We've heard from former CIA director Michael Hayden, who made it a very clear point when he said Donald Trump is being used as a recruiting sergeant for the terrorists. We also know from the former head of our counterterrorism center, Matt Olson, uh, that the kinds of rhetoric and language that Mr. Trump has used is giving aid and comfort to our adversaries. So, Mike Barnico, you have two very distinct uh, views of counterterrorism there. Donald Trump being asked, I think it was on Fox and Friends, mm -hmm. like his, uh, asked, uh, so you, you say we got to hit them harder over there. How? What's your policy? Knock the hell out of them, <laughs> which I, I'm not exactly sure if they teach that up at West Point as a, as a, as a countermeasure. Uh, but also something that really stood out to me, he said our law enforcement officers knew who, the, who these people were, but they were scared to get them. It seems to be quite an insult mm. to the NYPD. Yeah, I, I think all the law enforcement whoever. officers across yeah. this, this region. Yeah, I think it's important, Joe, to stop <clears throat> right here and take note of the ill-informed, uninformed comments of Donald Trump that he just made that we just heard. <clears throat> if you consider the time factor here, within 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours, there's a unit of the New York Police Department under John Miller, Right. Deputy Commissioner He's has great. to do with intelligence. Yep. They had tr they they knew they they had a facial ID everything, and within 24 hours, a combination of the New York Police Department, the FBI, and the New Jersey Police Departments involved, they had tracked down and apprehended they, the suspect I mean, in this just, bombing. Just Willie, no no cop is afraid to do this. Really, an extraordinary job by the NYPD. Extraordinary within 24 hours. And yet you have a presidential candidate out there saying, oh, these guys know who, the, who they were. This, this doesn't have to happen. They're being politically correct. We've come if to, they know who they are, they would have stopped the bombing. Right, right. We've come to expect a l utter lack of policy prescription. So when he says knock the hell out of them, we understand that that's what he's been saying. He's been promising policy all along. We haven't heard it yet. But to me, this is something that goes a little deeper and is new for him to accuse the police departments and law enforcement and the FBI and these people who cracked this case in about yeah. 38 hours total yeah. of and ignoring threats the to the country. It's, no, it is now. Yeah. Not, not only that, but it, but it gets to the daily, the hourly work that the New York Police Department Intelligence Unit, that the FBI, that that all of them do on a daily basis, that the plots and the people they have apprehended and stopped, unknown to us, continues every day, all day. I, David Ignatius, you know a bit about this as, as well as we do here. I mean, could you speak to this issue? Well, Mike, I, I think you put it uh, exactly right. The big takeaway of, of this uh, story to me is the efficiency with which police and law enforcement in New York and New Jersey were able to close. And also, I have to say, the action of responsible citizens. Uh, Secretary Clinton talked about the need not to cower, to be resilient. And we saw citizens identifying people, uh, taking appropriate action when they, when they, when they saw uh, threatening objects. But I, I think uh, Trump goes for the soundbite. And uh, in, in counterterrorism, Everybody that I talk to says the key to uh, effective work against these lone wolves are Muslim communities in the United States. That's the only chance we have to see people before they act. They're not in touch with Al Qaeda Central or, or, or with ISIS in Raqqa for the most part. They, they, they're lone wolves. So it, it's, it's the communities on which we depend. And it is true that every one of these comments about profiling makes American Muslims think, gosh, we're a different world set of Americans. Maybe people think we don't